question in this video is to understand high watermark in oracle so what is high watermark of a table in oracle and how it how much it is important for us to understand this so basically high watermark for an oracle table is a construct that shows the table at its greatest size oracle table has a high watermark that shows the greatest size of the table a point at which it consume the most extents the currently that high watermark may be stating at a block which does not contain any data at the present moment for that table but which in past had data for that table the rightmost block or the max number of block which ever contained data for a table has a high watermark to it now the following diagram shows the hum on a newly created table as we can see the hum is set to 0 that that is because the table is newly created and there are no there is no data in the table so if we envision a table for example as a flat structure or a series of uh, data blocks laid one after the other in a line from left to right then the high water mark would be the rightmost block that ever contained data so as this diagram is showing about a newly created table it doesn't contain any data so the hum is set to zero now as more and more data would be filled in the table the hvm would move right hand side table are as we know the tables are created of extents and extents are made up of data blocks the size of the data block it depends on the os configuration now as the left hand side diagram shows after inserting about 6000 records in the table the hvm has moved three blocks this is just a estimate say suppose after inserting 6000 records our hvm has increased to three blocks now when you do any dml statement say suppose now you delete 2000 records from the table as shown on the right hand side diagram the hvm still points to the third block it doesn't come to the second block even after deleting some data that is because when you do a delete uh, on a table it would not reset the hvm to the new h uh, to the new uh, extent of blocks it would still point to the block that had the maximum number of data like the block which ever contained the data so if we do some delete also we might have the block that contains no data at the present moment but hvm still uh, points there now the delete statement would not update the hvm position and a full table scan on a table will read through empty blocks like there is a table you have inserted some records in that table and now you have deleted say suppose some or even all the data from the table the hvm would still point to the uh, data block which uh, the highest data block which ever contained data for that table now this will impact the performance of a full table scan especially if most of the blocks under the hvm are empty what an hvm does it it separates the segment into used and unused blocks so whenever a scan is done for a table the oracle will read read all the data blocks below the hvm it would understand like below the hvm all all the blocks contains data for this table and it will read so say suppose you have kept 2 million records in the table so the hvm would be uh, standing at a at a block saying that okay after 2 million records this is the highest position like this is the point where the data is the maximum point where there was ever data and then you say delete um 1.5 million records still the hvm would not move it will still stand at that uh, the max block that was uh, used when you inserted 2 million records so after deleting 1.5 million records also the oracle will read or read all the data blocks even if they are empty so this will uh, lead to a very low performance now uh, the if, if you instead if we have truncated the table then the hvm would move it would move and uh, reset to the new uh, it would get reset to the zeroth position and other two ways of resetting the hvm would be either rebuilt or shrunk now why doesn't oracle uh, uh, reset the hvm after a delete operation now uh, it is a high, uh, it is an assumption that what rows we are deleting will be on the rightmost side of the blocks but it is not uh, that uh, practically possible it might be anywhere inside the block might you might be deleting the rows which are uh, from middle of the blocks or somewhere in the starting so 
um, that is not really possible and to uh, and to reset the hvm oracle has to first see where 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 the current block is with maximum data and then it has to compare it with the current hvm and then it has to reset and there's a lot of uh, processing going on so uh, we don't want all this processing to happen after a delete operation um, if you want to do the re uh, resizing of the table we can just re go through the rebuild or shrink fun functionality and do this but every time after delete if oracle takes uh, does so many things it will be much time consuming and a lot of resource will be wasted yeah so this is it this is on hvm please do like share and subscribe and please do let me know what you think in the comments thank you